it is me and I'm going to be doing space engine weird objects so we're gonna start at Galaxy NGC four five four six five six that's the music that should be used for black holes it's really really creepy all right let's get this show on the road all right so I bookmarked a couple of things here and uh, hold on um, first let's do the super rings I just want you to just take this in really quick we're just gonna we're just gonna go slow speed just bear with me watch slow speed I mean look at how fucking huge this thing is like could you imagine if you actually lived on this planet like I mean look at these rings going going and we're still going still going still going I mean, this is a real planet, like, you can look at all this is a real planet. It has the largest rings ever discovered. And I just happened to stumble across this and found out it was a real planet, so... See, it says Discovery Date 2012, right over there. So yeah, this is a real thing. It looks like its rings are about as wide across as a star. Though I'm probably wrong about that. Alright, let's go to another object. Oh, 235 moons. Would you look at that? Those are a lot of moons. Alright, so this is just a regular gas giant, nothing special. Um, look at the convection currents on the star right there. Cool stuff, alright. Carbon star, no, black galaxy. This is called the Black Eye Galaxy. Let's take it in. I, I don't actually know how we discovered this galaxy, is it? It's, it's a real one, I know that, but uh, radiation? No idea. Alright, we're just gonna go to the center of it and just just hold on just a second, just watch. Closer. Closer. Straight into a black hole. Do you ever get that feeling where it kind of scares you whenever you get near one of these things in this game? Besides, if, if you're new to playing this and you want to go to the center of an object like this, you press Control G to go straight to the center if you ever want to just look at all of this. Those are all galaxies. Just think about how small we are. We are nothing. Just, hold on, just watch. I'm gonna go to Earth, and I'm gonna zoom all the way out. Just bear with me. This is us. And of course, it starts playing the track Pale Blue Dot. Alright. This is Earth. Got Mr. Jupiter over there. And let's go. The entire solar system. Except you can't see Neptune. Why does everyone hate Neptune? The galaxy hates Neptune. It won't show it. A 
other stars are going gradually faster. This is so fast you'd probably like die from the G-force, you'd definitely die from it. We will never be able to go this fast. There's no way. This is the Milky Way. We're going to continue zooming out. And... Look at all those galaxies. There are a lot of them. Just take a moment and look at all of it. We are nothing. Well, we are something, but we're nothing compared to the size of this. You think, what is this, only like 200,000 objects in this actual game? And there are an infinitesimal number of other objects in this universe. Think about it, if you go outside the universe, there's probably another universe touching it. That's my theory, at least. The universes are in one big expanding bubble. What happens whenever one of those bubbles pops? I don't have a damn clue. It's scary to think about, though. See, we're at the maximum speed right now. So, we're just going outside. And then all of it is going to see how, what is it called, redshifting? I think they're doing that. Somebody can correct me on that. Just look. That is huge. And I'm barely going anywhere now. And then, hold on, I'm going to go to a planet on the edge of the solar system. Hold on, um, where is it? Oh yeah, the edge. Now there's a planet that I had. Oh, let's go to another black hole. Oh yeah. This black hole is one of the largest in Space Engine. It is 412 astronomical units across it, and that is huge. What would it take you? I don't know how many years it would take you to cross that. Also, um, where is the planet that I had on the edge? Okay, let's go to the edge of the universe. Well, this is a galaxy. We're going to... We're going to increase the lighting. Or, uh, hold on, uh... How do I do this again? I forgot. Um... Overbright. We are on the literal edge of the universe, to where the skybox cuts off. Just take a moment to take all of this in, and think about how small we are. In comparison to all of these galaxies. Let's go to another one over here. Ah, go to it. There's just a bunch of objects. Let's see if there's a black hole in here. Is there? Yeah, it's going faster. See all of it loading in? I don't know how my computer's not crashing right now. Because it's a pretty powerful thing. Look at all of it! Oh man, yeah, there's a black hole. Ugh. Why do these things freak me out so bad? Look, it has a cloud of... That is bright. Warping space around and look at it. Let's turn on. Let's turn on the overbright. All right. The overbright. Where do I have it? Where is the overbright? Mm. I can't remember where the overbright is. Boom. Ah. Oh, there it is. Let's see, it's still very, very bright. Like, can you imagine being here? Look at all of these stars. And these 
on anything compared to all of these. It's unbelievable. We'll never get out here. The humanity probably won't even last long enough to get anywhere near here. Here, get anywhere near outside the solar system, to be honest. But, yeah, just take your time and ponder that. And, I guess I'll wrap up this video. Um, huge universe. Also, the game is Space Engine, so if you haven't played it and you have a computer capable, um, you should probably play it. Uh, it's fun just going around to random places, exploring the universe, falling into black holes, which will spook you actually. And this is a white galaxy. Never seen this before. Well, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, guess I'm gonna say, packs out.